Well, hello and welcome to Producer Dan. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Today we're talking about color in Pro Tools and how it's helped me organize my sessions. Also, when my tracks are set up this way, I feel, not only do I feel a little more creative, but I'm energized. Pro Tools has given us the ability to color our routing, our ins and outs, our buses, our effects. So this is a very large mix that I've been working on, and it's a very good example of how I use colors in a very basic way. Starting with my guitars are kind of light green, my bass tracks are kind of a light blue, my drums, these are your basic brown color that uh, that you get when you make an instrument track. So I've left those brown. Any specialty drums like cymbal swells, uh, wooden blocks, chimes, I'll make this lighter brown color, this tan color. And uh, piano, keyboards, that type of thing will be this color. This is orchestration in these reds and rust colors. And then my vocals, violets in... Uh, fuchsia for my backup vocals. For effects, I use this green color and then delays. Since it's an, an effect, I've kept it in a green color, but a very light green. And then buses, I have this school bus yellow, and then I've kept my master fader the same. So this is what it looks like in the classic view. I prefer the classic view over the dark mode. If you go to settings, you can change your theme here. This is classic. And here's the dark mode. And this looks very cool. I like the vibrancy of it. I just have a hard time reading uh, the words. Uh, when the letters are white instead of black. To me, this looks very transparent, like I'm looking through like a stained glass window. It doesn't have a solidness that I like. But in my uh, color examples today, I will be showing both the classic view and the dark mode for those of you who prefer the dark mode. So in order to change the color of a track, it's very simple. I'm going to highlight these two guitar tracks. I'm going to go to window and get color palette. And here's the color that they are now. But to change the color, it's very simple. You just choose a different color and it changes the color of the track. And if we go to our edit window, uh, you can see that I have in my preferences, I've made it so my clips will be the same color as my tracks. And so this is a good time to go ahead and take a look at the preferences in settings. And you can see my default track color setting is for the track type. So when I make an instrument track, I know it's going to be brown. When I make an audio track, it's going to be blue. And below that, the default clip color coding is the track color. The first option they have is the MIDI note color shows velocity. I think it's important if you are if you work with a lot of MIDI instruments uh, like I do, it's important that you have this option chosen. So you can easily see which notes are hit with a greater velocity and those which are not. And here is that view in the dark mode. Another option that you have for using color are your marker colors. Now I've done a very good video on markers and memory locations. Uh, Pro Tools has enhanced that feature as well. So up top here you can see I have created markers for my verses, my choruses, my chorus outros, and they produce this line which comes down through your edit window like this. 
Now, a new feature that they've given us in the 2024.10 update is the ability to remove these lines. If we come over to View, choose Marker Displays, you can uncheck Ruler Lines. Now I've put them back and I want to show you how distracting they really are, particularly in the dark mode. Now let's take a look at some of the new ways that we can use color to help us with our routing and our buses. Let's start here at this uh, main out left and right. It used to be that we had to come to the uh, in and out settings. Here's the uh, out one and two. So I'm gonna choose the dark red color and then choose OK. And you can see over here, it has changed uh, the main out left and right to the dark red. I chose that because it matches the color of the track. I also made it this dark red uh, to alert me for when I create a track. For example, let's create a track here, a mono audio track, and then hit create you can see that it has made the main out left and right this red color. And that's going to alert me. Uh, that's a visual clue for me to make sure that I uh, route this correctly. Let's say this was a new uh, vocal track. First, I would change the color of the track here. To the fuchsia. Having this color here would give me a visual clue and a reminder to route this to the backup vocal bus, which I will do now. Okay, so here's my mix bus. Since this is my like main mix bus, I'm going to keep this school bus yellow. So we right click here. You get the choice for color here. Here's my yellow. And that's done. So now you can see all of the outputs uh, that are sent to the mix bus have changed to this yellow color. The next one is a vocal effects bus. Now, since uh, all my effects are green, I'm going to go ahead and make this a green color as well. Just going to choose something like that. And now all of my effects that are sent to the vocal effects bus are that color. And the next bus here is the backup vocal bus. So I'll change this color to match my backup vocals, which are this fuchsia color. There we are. So on and so forth. You can see now the outputs have changed to this fuchsia color. My vocal bus, I will make this purple color here. Here's my instrumental bus. So I guess we'll choose this kind of rust color. My guitar bus, since my guitars are green, I'm going to choose a green color, kind of a light green. There we are. My bass bus, since my bass tracks are blue, they're a light blue color. I'm going to choose the light blue and my drum bus. And they're all that brown, that brown color. So I will choose that. And now if we go down through, we can see all of my instrumental tracks are this color. My vocal tracks, the outputs are this color. And it would stand out if they were incorrectly done. Here's an example. These are percussion tracks, this color and this color. These particular drums, I want to go to my uh, drum bus. But these instruments, there's a wooden block, a chime, uh, and a glockenspiel. Those I want routed to my instrumental bus. So you can see how good that looks and, uh, you know, how it can help you uh, organize and maybe feel more at ease about how you're 
routing is set up. We can do the same thing here on our reverb and delay tracks. I'm going to right click on this delay track and I'm going to choose this light green color. I'm going to do the same thing with all of my delays. There. Now all my delays are this color and you can see all my vocal tracks they show it this color as well. So in my reverb track I will choose a color very close to this green. So now all of my reverb sends are this color and they show up that color here on my vocal tracks. So as we look across it looks very organized. My guitar outputs are green going to my guitar bus. My bass outputs are light blue going to my bass bus. Here are my drum bus outs. And these particular drums going to my instrumental bus. These are all instrumental. My vocal bus, backup vocal bus and my effects. So I love the way this looks. And now I'm going to show you what this looks like in the dark mode. For those of you who use the dark mode. There we are. Very nice. And so that's a little bit about the uh, enhanced or improved uh, color capabilities, the color features in Pro Tools. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. I hope this video is helpful to you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.